Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be working inside of Final Cut Pro. I'm going to be showing you a few tips and tricks on how to easily work inside of Final Cut Pro. So what I have here is a Corvallis Youth Symphony documentary that I was working on a few months back. And I'm going to be taking out some footage. So we'll listen here. You can see I have this crowd clapping. And I don't actually just want to end. I don't want to go into more B-roll here. So I'm going to highlight, hold my mouse down, and click and get rid of all of this. I'm going to lose these little transitions here at the end. Now, if I hit Shift-Z, you can see everything in my timeline here. Um, Final Cut Pro, I have a lot of things going on. I have a lot of audio tracks. And I have up to four video tracks. And I don't want to have to go and highlight everything to the right and then push it all down. That's a little too much for me. An easier way when you're working with a lot of footage and a lot of stuff and you take away something in the middle, there's an easy shortcut to lose the gap in the middle. So I'm just going to press play to find our spot again. There we go. And I'm going to hold two fingers and click for my right click and close gap. I'll undo that to show you that again. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit where you guys can see. And another way to do this is hold the control button down and click your mouse. And right there is close gap. What that will do is it will push down everything from the right side to the left to close any gap. Now this will only work if you have nothing on the top or bottom. So I have no video tracks here, no audio tracks at all. And that's the only way it will work. Also, you don't want any transitions on the side because that might give you an, an error. So I'm going to close the gap. And there you go. It just pushed it down. And now, zoom back out here for you. And I'll play this. So that was a little abrupt. So now we can add a transition. You can just highlight where you want to edit, we'll go up to the effects tab, video transitions, dissolve, and I use cross dissolve here. It's a nice transition that works pretty smoothly. There we go. So there are a few other things um, about how I work with my footage. This might not look exactly the way you look. So let me talk about how I set up my timeline. So I'll actually make a new sequence here. So file, new, sequence. I'll just, I'll leave it as sequence number six, but I could have renamed it. Double click on it. And this is how Final Cut will defaultly give you a timeline. So down here on the bottom, toggle timeline track height. Here's where we can adjust how big or how small we'll see our tracks. So here would be a very large view for a clip, which is kind of nice if you're just working with one line, one track line. Next to that is toggle clip overlays. We're going to turn that on. And I'll show you what that means now. Let's drag um, some footage into the timeline just by dragging and dropping it in. For best performance, I want to switch my timeline to match my footage. I'll hit yes. Here we have an interview with Evan Wu after a concert. So you can see the track height is very small. I want to make that a bit bigger. So there we go. I can see a lot more of it now. And then if I toggle the clip overlays button, put that on, you'll see that it turns on these red lines here in my footage. And it turns on this black line. This black line is for the opacity. So if you watch here, in the top right and I turn down this black line you can see that it becomes opaque and you can see through your clip. I'll put that back up. And over here you can see that these red lines as I put my bar over them the arrow has changed and that is my audio controls for audio up and audio down. So that's what the toggle clip overlay button does. And I also want to be able to look at the audio waveforms when I edit. So I click on this arrow right next to the track height button. 
And then I'm going to go to Show Audio Waveforms. And then the audio waveforms will appear in the audio track. All right, well, I hope you find these tips very helpful for you. And if you'd like to see anything else, just let me know.